You'll be back December 3rd? I'll be back for January 5th. Name's Rick. Rick. Correct? Yep. I'm oh, sorry, what was your name again? Eric Taylor. Eric Taylor. Um, did you receive our response to your discovery demand? Yes, I did. Okay. We will be discussing those with the judge. Uh, Listen, now, I just wanted to ask you, are you familiar with this case at all, though? Yes. Do you realize that you're lacking probable cause? There's no cement pad in my yard that this guy, this officer is talking about? The parking structure? Is that what you're talking about? He's, uh, well, if you read, uh, if you read the complaint, First of all, um, you got two counts that totally contradict themselves. One says you, you have to park a, a, a boat on a paved surface, and the other one says you're not allowed to park. On an approved paved surface. Right. right. So okay. something with the building permit. So, so, I'm sorry, but if you read the first two wit, he's saying that I have boats right. in the front yard that are not paved. Unpaid. Okay. Correct. First of all, they're not in the front yard, but that's okay. But then if you read the third one, he's saying I have a trailer that's parked on a paved surface that is paved. But more importantly, so in other words, where would you park a boat or a trailer? You're not allowed to park anywhere on your property. Correct. Okay. Uh, but more importantly, um, the cement pad that he's referring to yep. just does not exist. It does not exist. No, I've already supplied multiple photographs with... Uh, I've already supplied multiple photographs as evidence that it does not exist. I want to ask you a question. Would this be illegal? I, I honestly... Well, this would be parked on a, on a driveway, right? I'm not a code enforcement officer. That would be oh. something that you would have to discuss. With but well, this would be what, you're, what you just said. You can't park a boat anywhere that, without, unless it's approved, right? Like I said, it would, it would be oh. something that I would have to speak to a code enforcement officer. Oh. Uh, do you know, is he driving that code enforcement car that's out front? I'm not sure what he's oh. driving. Um, so anyway... The, the cement pads just don't exist. I, I really don't understand why you guys are pursuing this. Well, well, that's something that we'll have to discuss with the code enforcement officer. If you're saying it's not there, we'll have to schedule so I filed a motion that says it's not there. I also filed a, uh, an information with the court. I have to tell you. Well, been, we'll I just want to tell you. We'll be held to that standard. Uh, I hope so. I, I've already been interviewed by the district attorney's office. Okay. All right. I have some evidence against this guy. I want to bring it to your attention also. He didn't Again, like. He didn't like the way the I inspector? inspected. Yes, okay. he, I have him on videotape. Okay. He basically told me I'm going to make stuff up about your house, and that's exactly what he did. All right. All right. All I can speak of is what I have knowledge of, and no all we're looking for today is to see. What the I just like to bring your attention. If this officer is driving that marked vehicle, he's parked in a no parking zone. Uh, I will find out about that. I Maybe we could ask him. It, I have to go through the rest of the oh. Right. oh, so you don't want? To, you, you're not interested in that. All right, no, I'll see you in court.